Yes. Yeah, but I don't think I have the things for that. Oh yeah, I do. Already did. I just gotta host them. Okay, back to hosting. <laughs> Hey, progress. I was wondering why it got darker all of a sudden. Haven't seen you around for a while. How have you been, kid? Oh, so many things happened. Right, right, good chat. Listen, all this garbage you've been sending my way is great and all, but I've gotten myself in a bit of a pickle, which requires a more tactful response. A few thousand times more tactful, actually. But you know me, you help me out, I help you out. How about you chip in and I'll make it worth your while, yeah? What do you want? Oh, God. Sure. You do me a solid. Alright, so I've got something you wouldn't believe. It's gonna interfere with my 50, but I'm a millionaire. Something inside this old busted bag worth 100 times as much as you just handed over. Really? No idea. But that's the beauty of it. It could be anything. No one knows what it is because no one can get inside. It's a mis mystery box. How suspenseful. Yeah, it could be anything, really. No one can preview it otherwise until they open it, so I'm doing you a favor, really. Busted carry on. Now, Scram, I've got money to count. You did not just. What is this? Oh. Oh. Alright. How many charcoal leaves do I need now? <laughs> oh god. Alright. Um. Welp. Alright, where do I gotta go again? A24? Man, I thought it was gonna be something new. Something finally, like a key or a crowbar to open up the other areas in the cave. I went back and looked through the cave. I think I'm getting more of a, like a handle of the directions of like what where you know where these were but i still need those items and i, I have a feeling the big thing's gonna be finishing that fifty thousand with the oh what, what's her name with barbara she's gonna be the one giving me those key to give me those keys all right let's get more charcoal lilies while we wait out the day okay got something for me right here I got this buzzer suitcase from Took. It's got something inside worth millions. Let me guess. No one can get it open? Yes, how'd you know? <laughs> Lucky guess. Lucky guess. It could be anything, and that's worth more than the box itself. What could be in there? Someone's old clothes? Maybe. Someone's darkest secrets that they just so happen to take along on their unpaid vacation and then left behind? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh. Find it in your me. Okay. Thus making this unclaimed baggage a most fascinating display. Damn it! All right, Pinefall we go. I can't see anything here. Oh god. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I see the bridge. Yeah, the bridge. Another... Yes. Unclaimed baggage. <laughs> Hopefully, someone collects that. That museum's getting big. I have to actually. Oh. Where's he gonna go to? That one? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I would too. That one's a weird one. Oh, shit. Why aren't there food in here? It's gonna, be the, it's gonna be the opportunity to put all this food in there. I was like wondering what I was gonna do with all this when I accidentally took it out and didn't put it back in. And when you activate Julia, you can't mess with anything. Nice. Okay. Oh, she's up here. All right, Barbara. <laughs> this is a ridiculous amount. This better be worth it, lady. Yes. Excited bear noises. Wow, this is quite the accomplishment. It's certainly more money than I've ever dreamed about earning myself. Wow. Even before everything went belly up. The regime fell and everything came crashing down after it. No one came back for us. For a while, I wasn't even sure there was anyone left who could. The world collapsed. Our world collapsed. 
All that was left were rundown buildings and piles of garbage. And me. Alone. Ever since. Oh man. Okay, all of a sudden I'm not feeling as... Okay, Mama, take the 50,000! <laughs> Even before everything went belly up, I haven't seen another soul in this place, Hank, until you came along. Learn about Barbara's past. Where there's smoke achievement. Who knew that after all these years, it would be forced that would come back for me? Okay. Oh, hello. Nice of you to remember to visit. I swear I barely left. It's alright. It's already behind us. In fact, if you'd like to make it up to me, I have a very simple request. Anything? I believe that old layhouse in Whitestone Bay is a disgrace to our efforts. It's hideous and repulsive in its current state. If you're serious about turning our valley around, it's very important that this mistake gets remedied. And quickly. It's recently come to my attention that a key part need to, needed to repair that thing, its central lens, is somewhere on the beach. Just left there, among an old forgotten shipment. This crowbar should be good enough- <gasps> Applicates but my arms aren't what they used to be! Your, your seem just fit for the job. Find me the lens so that we can do right by the valley and repair the lighthouse. I finally got the crowbar! Guys! Oh, we need to go get the crowbar. Okay, hold on. Wait, Barbara, did I give you all my freaking money? Mm, a little bit. Ooh, hold on. Actually, okay, Winterberry is 25. Can I turn this on? Yes. Okay, good. And then I'll do Pineful as well. <clears throat> Keep the guests going in there. And then I can just do these myself for now until we get more money. Oh, actually, I have more. We can just do that then. These three. Yeah, I could do these myself and then do these three. <coughs> That'd work. Okay, can I actually put. Because it's Winterberry. Oh, I can. Oh, yes. Actually, oh, we can do way more than I expected. Okay, I put enough fuel in there. Um, let's do this one. Can we do, like, mint tea? Plum. Egg dippy? Um, some corn on the cob. It's 180. Yes. Okay. Um. Mm. Let's get chamomile and let's get let's get a good meal. Ooh, spinach stromboli. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. Good. And then, does she have? Oh, he didn't turn these on. Okay. <coughs> hmm. Okay. Good. Gonna clear this out really quick. Uh, this one too. We have a crap ton, crap ton of these now. Okay, and then last one, Pinefall. Okay. okay. Um. Uh, so now we just need to go to Whitestone Bay. She said. Or the beach, but going to Whitestone would actually be easy to go. Whitestone and then down to beachside. Well, let's sleep. Hold on. Oh, we only have one. Nice. Is that it? 
Four, eight, fifteen. Interesting. What are we gonna have? All right, Barbara. So, did you get the lens? I sure did. Excited bear noises. Finally, be careful. It can break very easily and we'll need it for the most important task you've ever had. It's very close now. I can feel it. The valley becoming whole again. All this work, all this effort for so long. Take the lens and enough materials with you to Whitestone Bay and restore that lighthouse. It is important you do so quickly. The reputation of the entire valley is at stake. On it. Oh, and good luck. All right, let's go. Hopefully we have everything we need. Um, wait, so... Yeah, that crowbar is gone. Okay, so that's the only place we had to have needed it for. Unless we get more to buy later. Or we can buy more later. Um, I don't know if we would be able to. Ooh. Um, let's go repair the lighthouse. <laughs> Hoping we have enough supplies. All right, Ginger. I got those here. Actually, I think I got some earlier, but it's always good to get more. All right. Over part of this lighthouse. We are the bear. Yes. Alright, that one's already done, but let me grab this real quick. Yes. Okay. More specific items are required. In this case, a great lens, mahogany planks, steel plates, and electronics. Yes. I have enough. Yes. Getting all that mahogany, y'all. Look at that. Bring to light completed. The lighthouse tower of Whitestone Bay watching over the sea like an old sailor. With a faint click and a loud hmm hum, it suddenly turned on. The giant lens at the top shined out into the distance like a beacon. Boats and ships could once again approach Silver Valley. Oh, look at us. All done. Oh, it's ready. At a distance completed. Okay. Return to Barbara and Pinefall. We restored it. This is so cool. Okay. Uh. Ah! Wait. That's somebody up there? Did I miss something? Oh no, it's a lamp. Okay. <laughs> nice. Let's see what she has to say now. Oh, hello? What is this? Hello? Barbara? Where could she have gone to? The only way completed. Maybe she took a bus? I should ask Oliver if he's seen her. See, this is what I like. Telling me more. Where to go next. Okay. Let's go talk to Oliver. I think he's still in... Sawdust? I'm like, is, am, I, am I saying that right? What is he doing? Oh. I was in Hankin. Get it? How is it? Oh god. You okay, bud? I'm looking for Barbara. Have you seen her? Barbara? Nice old lady with a green hat? Can't say I have. I've never seen her take the bus either. Trust me, bud. I know. Have you thought about asking Beanie? She's got a great vantage point up in her tower. Maybe she spotted her somewhere. Okay. So, ask Sabine. Where's Sabine again? In her tower. Wasn't that Highlight? Funny. Hey there, you big softy. But you haven't changed a bit. 
I find change unbearable. Uh, great. <laughs> what are you up to? I'm looking for the mystery mysteries of the forest. Know any? Oh boy, oh boy, have I got something for you. So you spend most of your time in the forest, right? You ever come across something twice as large and thrice as hairy as you? Well, if I don't take care of myself for a while. Yeah, well, so I was out one day a little bit further than I usually go, looking for my usual herbs. When out of nowhere, this huge hulking creature jumps out in the field next to me. Am I glad I had my camera? I managed to snap a few shots because I knew no one would believe me otherwise. I believe you. Oh, well, you're definitely the first, and this is definitely mysterious. You can have it in exchange for a little grub. I've seen what you feed those people out there. It ain't ch chow. What do you want? Wait, I wonder if you've seen Barbara. Come back. Oh, damn it. Okay. She wants chili mac. And, okay, so you want Chili Mac, but also, we gotta go to Pinefall. We gotta see what else we need to do. What is this? One? Yep. Perfect. <laughs> go, where is it? Here. Perfect. Yes. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, get 35 star reviews in Pinefall. A serious new hat. Yeah. Okay. I think those are going to be the last two for these. Rise the top and turn it harder. Alright, uh, we need two chili mac for Sabine. This gives me a chance to check on everything here. Ooh. Okay, well, I might as well make it. Um, hold on. Wait, hold on. Actually. Oh, fuck, I have to go outside. Man, I set this up so inconveniently. <laughs> um... Okay. She wants two, right? I mean, that's a good thing to ask for, actually, when you think about the area she's in. Sage, right, right, okay. We'll come back. There she is. Hey, done cooking? Yes. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Thanks a lot, I owe you one. Here's a photo of the old beast. It's a little blurry, but you can definitely see it's not human. <laughs> blurry photo. How's that for mystery? Wait, I need to ask you about Barbara. Pleasure is all mine, big guy. How you doing? You all, you all right? You seem a little down. Have you seen the old lady in the green hat lately? Yeah, I know Barbara. I actually saw her a few hours ago, roaming the valley like she always does. I didn't pay no attention mine since she ignores me and I ignore her. It's how it's always been. But she did seem in an awful hurry this time. Oh, and she was missing her green hat. Was she alone? Was she being kidnapped? Do you know where she was going? Definitely wasn't being kidnapped, unless you can kidnap yourself. She was headed down to the desert. By my estimate, it looked like she was en route to hit the beach. You might hit right into her there. We didn't oh, okay. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. So we gotta use that blurry photo. Um. Okay. <sighs> let's go, let's go grab it. Let's go grab the chamomile, or charcoal lily, sorry. Let's go grab some and then head to the beach and then go back and get the rest, which I should only need, I should only need two drops. She just disappeared. I wonder why she did that. Hey, who gives? Oh, <laughs> I have to go up here. Here we go. Oh, what? Hello? What's this? At sea completed. Find out what happened to Barbara. No sign of Barbara on the beach. No sign of her anywhere. Yeah, the little boat that's usually here is gone too. And there's a tiny postcard on the dock. What did you say? That's probably just your imagination. Cause who uses postcards anymore? Am I right? Oh, uh, what? I was probably just running around somewhere looking for increasingly suspicious things like any normal old lady. Yeah, silly old ladies. Silly old bear actually, since when do inanimate objects hold two-way conversations? Since always, always talk to my favorite objects. Yeah? How do you know I'm your favorite? You haven't even flipped me over and read what I say yet. In a minute. I'm in no rush. I've got the rest of your life. Whenever you're ready. 
Sitting on the moldy wooden deck in front of Hank was a small, colorful postcard. On the back, it read, Dear Mrs. Barbara Ferrier, Thank you for connecting Palm Voyage about an exciting expansion opportunity in Silver Valley. A, re a representative will be sent on site at your earliest convenience. Although the people of Silver Valley have always been a welcoming and hospitable community, we appreciate the severity of renovations required in the area and welcome your assistance in rebuilding your beloved home. Your contributions to our development efforts will not be will not go unrecognized. Upon completion of your premium partnership duties, you will be eligible for a one-way ticket aboard our world-class cruise liner. <laughs> we look forward to offering you the escape of a lifetime. Ha! Whenever you're ready. Interesting. And the, like, did you have to go far? Oh, you poor thing. It's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. If she wanted to leave, she was going to anyway. It wasn't because of you. Here, I'll make you your favorite honey biscuits, so you'll forget all about it. I had her turn back after an hour. No ship or boat that I could find. I think she's gone for good, buddy. Do you want to go trash her place? We can go trash her place. <laughs> In fact, I'll go ahead and just get a start with that. William. Sorry, ma'am. I can't believe she just left. Oh, my baby boy. I tried so hard to get things back on track to fix the valley step by step. To help her get to the bottom of whatever she was looking for. To fix the cabins, the resorts, everything. Oh, buddy. And she just left. I didn't trust her to begin with. She never stopped for ear scratches anytime she walked by. That's a clear sign. Yeah, a clear sign of fleas. Oh, I'll give you a sign so clear you'll get right away. <laughs> Children. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. I think Hank needs a little space. Why don't you two go check if your errands have somehow been magically completed, will you? Yes, ma'am. Hang in there, buddy. You'll be alright. You still got us, Hank. We promise we're not going anywhere. Except outside. Right now. Come on. Shoo. Hang, hang in there, Hank. You'll be alright, buddy. She just left! Bitch just left! <laughs> Guys! My dear Hank. My dear boy. I just don't get it, Mom. She was nice to me. And she said nice things, too. I really thought I was helping. You did help her, but not in the way you thought. I don't know what was going through her head, Hank, but I don't think she ever planned on staying. She was going to leave no matter what. You just happened to be her ticket out of here. I can't blame her. I ran away too. I had a lot less weighing me down and a lot more to fight for. My dear boy, I don't know what I'm going to do on my own now. Same as you've been doing so far. You've been doing such a great job all with all of this. It's alright if you want your life to be about making others happy, so long as you go first. You can't give others what you don't have. Okay, but what if it's not enough? It's only... It only has to be enough for you. Everything else will follow. You did the best you could, Hank, for everyone, including her. Now, get some rest. There's a lot of humans still waiting for you out there. Thanks, Mom. She couldn't even say goodbye. She just, ugh, I feel so used. All right. Well, we're still a bear in this world, so we're good. Uh, oh, perfect, got just enough. All right, Charlotte, got something for me? Yes, right here. Yeah, it's a blurry photo of a weird creature that's definitely not human. Sabine snapped it in the forest. Oh, that's just Greg. <laughs> Greg? <laughs> yeah, weird fellow old Greg. He used to roam the forest long before people were here. I guess he was out for his... That's misspelled, but I'm guessing it means annual stroll. You just don't know, you just don't get any privacy these days. I'm sure Sabine was over the moon with her, um, discovery which is why this will be a hit with the rest of your crowd i'm certain this wasn't greg's first impromptu photo shoot he does like the attention don't we all i would rather stay buried underground all year round yes well some of us have egos to tend to <laughs> i spruced up the photo and gave it a sophisticated sounding name troubled anthropoid huh it should even raise the most skeptical eyebrow all right well first of all let's get the charcoal looks and then let's sleep. All right, let's go put this in the in Pinefall at the museum. Yeah, um, let's rotate this.
Yeah. Uh, and then I can go ahead and craft another marble display. Perfect. Oh, we have 107 mahogany. Dude, that got so high. That's crazy. That's like so high after like running out of those constantly. Okay. Awesome. Now let's put that photo and let people rave about it, huh? <laughs> the troubled anthropoid. Nice. Okay. Should be up here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Hey. I sense something is on your mind. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Do you know anything about the old building to the east? West, I mean. This, that is an old mountain shelter built long before any of the ski cabins were ever started. Now it's just a home to a sorrowful fate. Inside it lives Sion, an elder bear cat that's been in there for a long time, but he's not, he's also not keen on leaving as far as I could gather. He's not been very responsive to me or anyone over the years. You could, of course, try your own luck. But. Oh, okay. Uh. Where is, is he over here? I think. Oh! Wait. Okay, I got these two mixed up. He. Ah. Is that what he. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. I know your name is Sion. Are you okay? Do not speak. Do not speak that name. Oh, sorry. I heard it from someone else. No one dares speak that name, for it is as dead as it is as its bearer. <laughs> you don't look dead at me, I think. No, indeed. The frost likes to play around with you that way, never sharp enough to deal a lethal blow, but rather keep you on the edge of becoming a pallid corpse. Can I help? I can make some fire? Do not assume. Do not assume you know what I've suffered through, and that you can simply fix it, like you fixed the lodges for those demons to return. <laughs> oh, I see. What do you do here? Nothing. I do nothing. Nothing but sit and freeze. That is what I do. Can I get you something warm to eat, maybe? You fool. There's nothing in this world that could ever begin to warm these old insides. Is that a challenge? It's, it's nothing but a shallow attempt at sympathy. Sounds like a challenge to me. Hmm. What does he want? Hearty, three hearty soups. So he's a bear cat? Is that what? It... Huh. He don't look like one. But then again, what does a bear cat really look like, huh? Alright. Oh, there's only one potato per here. Oh no, only three. Okay. Nice. That's enough. Let's just go in here and make the hearty soup sense. It's where this area. Okay. potatoes one more bean two more carrots one more onion I need another herb with so many herbs and seven more fuel. Nice. So that give us three hearty soups. All right. Let's sleep and then we'll go give him the soups. Okay. Some hearty soups. Hmm. I brought you something. I thought you'd need more than usual, so I made more than usual. I told you, your efforts are quite futile. Futile and um, savory. Give it here. <laughs> Do you like it? Oh, hmm. Mm. You've done quite the impossible feat. You've given me a memory. A memory I thought was long forgotten. Oh. Oh yes, there isn't anything in this world quite as magnificent as a shady branch on a hot summer morning. 
At the end of the day, it's still only you that needs to be satisfied. So being mindful of the branches in life is a good idea. Something, sometimes the best thing you can do for yourself is nothing at all. But as I quickly learned, that philosophy, philosophy only works when you're content with the little that you're born with. Aww. My regularly scheduled nothing was abruptly interrupted one day by those that are never content. They chased me for hours and finally cornered and trapped me. I was suddenly just a trophy, something to be taken and sold. Forever doomed to a life of nothing by force. A memory I thought was long forgotten. Forgotten long ago. I didn't know. Can I help you? Do you want to get out of here? There was nothing in the world I would have wanted more a few years ago. Now, I have nothing to return to. Time has passed over me and over the world. The creature that came here is gone, and so is its home. It was replaced by me, and I live here in this rundown, cold ruin. But I will continue this debate no longer. I leave you with something in return for your soup. There are dark forces you do not understand that govern this world. They, are sometime, they sometimes torment my dreams and bother my sleep. The answers you seek are behind doors locked by these forces. You must find three horned devils by the sea. They will lead you where you wish to go. What the fuck? Seek out three horned devils by the sea. <laughs> Leave me be. Do I look like three horned devils to you? What do you mean? Alright, I think he means we need to go to Whitestone Bay. The flight. What the? Get a load of this guy. Where do you get off coming into the dark brood's lair? It didn't look that dark to me. Typical wise guy. Your flesh looks nice and tender. Just like he likes it. Thank you. <laughs> yes, nice and juicy. We're by the sea. I count one, two, three weird looking devils. Do you know anything about dark forces? <laughs> do we know? Ha! Huh. He's killing me over here. Whoa there, guy. We know nothing on an empty stomach. Yeah, that's right. We want something nice and juicy for ourselves. If we were to know anything, that is. Well, I've thought about it, and you can't have a bite of me. Ew, what are you? A ding-dong? That's disgusting. We can never go on his turf, but we could go for some nice peaches. Those are real nice and juicy. Yeah, but not just any peaches. They better be nice and cooked and tender-like, and there better be enough for all of us. What the hell do you want? <laughs> they want peach cobbler. All right, we'll go make them three peach cobbler. Uh, yeah, it's got a highlight. It'll be quicker. Okay. Hey, it's a good thing we got that lemon. Um, okay, so we need raw sugar. So we need three. And then we need three lemons. Uh, slice lemons. Um, okay, we need to bake. Oh, uh, griddle? No, 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 it's gonna be the, uh, this one. Bake flour and the peaches, and then wood. Okay, so we need three flour. Uh, six peaches. Okay, good. Just hoping we'd have enough. And then we'll just get all the fuel, put it in there, and it'll just automatically take it out. Nice. Interesting. <laughs> of all the things, peach cobbler. All right, teach his own. Okay, let's go back. That's cool. I'm glad we're getting to interact with everybody that we've like ran into or passed or anything like that. Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay. So, you got our peaches? I do. Got three peach cobblers for you. Good, good. Yeah, these will do. So, what do you want to know? Has he come to you? Has he talked to you? He? Yeah, the bloody prince. The sanguinary sovereign. <laughs> the bird god. I don't think so. I don't know. I've never heard of anyone like that. But you are looking for him, correct? Otherwise, what are you doing fetching peaches for a bunch of good-looking weirdos? 
Well, I've had some weird dreams lately. So he has paid you a visit. It was just a dream. Dreams. Yes, that's his usual M.O. Before he hunts your flesh and feasts on your remains. <laughs> he terrorizes your dreams to tenderize your brain. For I love that their little eyes go into little circles. For better eating, you know? The fewer thoughts, the better. Less chewy. I am both scared and also do not believe a word you're saying. <laughs> oh no, when I'll come to us when you'll be just another bag of bones for his pile. I don't think you thought that one through. Listen, if you're so sure he does not exist, we challenge you. Yes, we challenge you to prove that he does not exist. That's how it usually that's how it's usually done. Yeah. Go to the Forbidden Forest, the Dark Grove. To the east, you'll find an entrance to a cave. That's the last place we saw him. Or we think we did. He doesn't like to be seen. Yes, once there, find and bring us evidence that he does not exist. It's the only way to prove your theory, of course. What? Find evidence for the bird god's existence. I already been to that cave, so if I have anything. Found anything, bet you didn't even go. Oh, that's right, the feather. I did, actually. I found this feather. You, you what? Found feather? A feather from, from him? Oh God, here we go. This is it. This proves everything. <laughs> we knew it. You were right to be scared. Your body felt it before your mind caught up. That fear in your spine was just your survival instinct trying to save you. If only it knew better than to even try. The bird god is real. The bloody prince of darkness lives. He roams the dark caves. We knew we saw him with our own eyes. We did. He has a dark figure, bloodshot eyes, and giant scaly wings. His monstrous wings shed bloody feathers every day, making way for new ones. His sharp claws and needle-like jaws can even tear through um, a coconut. Yes. And he will bring his wrath upon the world once again. All hell, the bird god. <laughs> a feather? Oh, okay, I read that. You have found evidence. It's so clear now. You must go find him. Yes, you must. No, I certainly mustn't. Oh, yes, he calls for you. You must seek him. You now know where you must go to find him. The cave. The cave. How could we have been so blind? Don't answer that. On our last voyage there, we found this key on the ground. Oh, the key. Well, we found the little fuzzy thing. The key came with it. It might be useful inside the cave. The cave. And what if I refuse to go look for your bird god? Then he will come looking first. <laughs> All right, solid argument. Fuzzy charm key. Learn about the bird god. You crazy little bats. All right, let's go. Let's go find the bird god. Sounds like a plan.